Howdy there, YouTube. So, first off, before I start anything, I do want to make an apology to my subscribers and viewers that in my last video with the sulfur dioxide emissions, I did not put in the Google Earth locations, and I did not look at it on Google Earth, which I should have, and I know I should have done that, and I do apologize, but um, things have been a little frantic lately, you know, I got two kids, everything's just been going crazy in the household lately, not getting much sleep, you know, it's been a little rough lately, but I just wanted to say I'm sorry for not putting Google Earth in there, but I will be doing a video in the next couple days of the Google Earth locations for the sulfur dioxide emissions, but... More activities increasing. Look at Mammoth Vaults. Over a hundred microquakes has struck the Mammoth Vault region. And I thought it was a electronic problem or something. Surface noise, you know, I, I doubt. <laughs> Surface noise can't do that. It didn't show on the other graphs. But then I looked over here at Horse Butte. And it does show here on Horse Butte as well. And look down here at Lake Butte. Got the same activity. And here in Little West Thumb as well, we got the same activity here as well, showing that this microquake swarm is real and it is occurring right now. The microquake swarms are a great indication of the movement of magma underground, as it's breaking away the rocks little by little by little by little by little. By little. But I bet you anything the USGS is not going to report any of those microquakes. But I got something new to tell you guys. This is as of right now, I noticed on the uh, the long period graphs for Montana and Red Lodge and Missoula that the background activity was increasing again. Remember my video about those scary long period tremors? Well, look down here. Do you notice that right around this time, the lines started getting thicker? You see that? How they're pretty thin up here, and now down here they're getting thicker? I have a prediction to make. I have a prediction to make. You know, it's probably not going to come to anything. Those scary long period tremors that were felt from Alaska to Virginia... I have a feeling that in the next day or two, it's going to happen again. And if it happens again and I'm right, I will make a video about it. But if I'm wrong, I will still make a video about it and admit that I'm wrong. But I am making a prediction that those long period tremors are going to show up again. Why do I think that? Because here in Grayling, Michigan, notice around the same time it started getting background activity as well. Not the same type of background activity, but you can see, watch, watch this. This is up in Alaska. So let's say the activity started around 11. Notice right here, the activity started around 11. So it's being felt over here in Michigan as well. And here's New York. I'm not talking about the background activity here, but I am talking about these spikes. You notice those spikes? I have no idea what's going on in New York, but something is definitely going on. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe those long period tremors weren't volcanic in nature. They could have been... From the plate moving too fast, maybe? Uh, God knows what. I have no idea. But this is what concerns me, right here. Okay. This is Nor or South Korea. Here's the border, the DMZ. Up here is Pyongyang. Up here is where they used to do their nuclear tests. And up here is that volcano that, they, that they're going to set off because of their nuclear tests. But see the location right there next to Seoul? Look at this. Look at those spikes. What the hell are those? What is that? And then look, they cut off, they cut it off right here. What? So they shut down the graph because this is happening. This does not look like volcanic activity, but something is definitely happening here. I have no idea what, but who knows. And here in Norway is feeling some increased activity as well. All right, here's Newport, Washington, where we would definitely see those tremors if they are increasing. And I don't see anything. There's a slight, very, very slight. You see those little, 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 tiny, tiny, tiny up and down, up and down motions? There's a slight increase, but nothing notable. But I am predicting that this tremor might return. I have a feeling it will. All right, guys, this is the current SO2 emissions right now. Where I live, it's about 1.67. 2.03 so around 1.5 to 3 that's not that high but it can make you feel a little sick if you're exposed long enough still got those stationary points uh pluming so2 into the atmosphere especially up here 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 and there and we got a few down here as well and remember this is yellowstone right here this is yellowstone now remember if there's a hydrothermal system sitting above a magma chamber, and the magma chamber is, in, is showing an increased amount of SO2, possibly because of an incoming eruption, 
Um, it is possible that the hydrothermal system will scrub the SO2 before it reaches the atmosphere or the ground level. But on the old faithful webcam, past year or so, you can definitely tell there's been an increase of dead trees, which SO2 and carbon di dioxide can kill trees. And here's the carbon dioxide emissions right now. Seems like it's centered in the same area as well. A lot up here. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. A lot of carbon dioxide over here by, oh, let's see, New York. Now, what's happening in New York right now? Could be related to the carbon dioxide releases right now, but look at this. Check this out. Look at the SO2 content over on the eastern half of the United States. Look at this. 72.24. 126.93, 79.04, Up in Washington, D.C. I think this is Washington, D.C. right here, somewhere. 19.68, 27.58. And notice as I go back in time. Notice how there's no stationary points. None. There are no stationary points. Except there are a few right here just for about an hour or two, but then they quickly dissipate. And nothing like up here. So I am possibly thinking it is possible that all this SO2 being released right here is being pushed extremely fast down here. I, it's a possibility. Because I don't know what could release this amount of SO2 on the eastern half of the United States. I have no idea what could do that. Especially when there's literally nothing over here. Look, zero, literally nothing at all over here. And then you go over here, and we got 135.83. A lot of high content. And here's those plumes again, 138.59, 18570, 288. That's pretty high. And then let's go over here. Here's, I think this is Redoubt, one of the volcanoes right here. And look at these lines. What the hell are these lines right here? Those are lines of sulfur dioxide, but why is it like, those look like massive chemtrails or something. And notice the stationary plume right here in Hawaii. That is because it is related to volcanic activity there. But I do have to say it is concerning that those plumes look exactly the same. See? See those plumes? And then you look at this. It looks exactly the same. All right. So look at this. Man, China. 1,181.37. Wow! Wow! And that's because they literally have no environmental laws, pretty much over there. So, I mean, it's it's bad. Like, the smog in China is bad. It's very, very terrible. Now, let's see what's going on in North South Korea. We got stationary point right here, it seems. Let's see if it stays. Possibly. Don't know what's going on there. But yeah, the seismograph for uh, South Korea is going off the charts with some very strange activity. And we got a new microquake swarm here, 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 showing the same activity. Yeah, so what the hell is going on in South Korea? If anybody has an answer, please let me know. Because those look like maybe explosions. They Those really look like surface explosions. But who knows? Who knows? Let's hope war is not starting. But I doubt it. But it is weird how they took off the, the helipod right there. It's very odd. And here's today, MSO LPC, which is Missoula, Montana, long period vertical, December 4, 2017. Notice the activity today, very, very minimal. But you go down here, and remember around 11 or so, or 11 or 12, it started to increase. It's starting to increase a little bit. Possibly that tremor might be returning. And they still have not brought LKWY back online. Remember the first video I ever did showing those very, very strange tremors at LKWY? Well, maybe they saw my video because it has not been up since November 6th. Almost a whole month. Yeah, a little annoying when they do that. And here is Indian Meadows, Wyoming. Short period vertical December 4th, 2017 for today. Got some interesting activity here. So let's go to the University of Utah seismograms. All right, guys, check this out. We have a possible volcanic tremor right here. Don't know what type, but I'm not focused on that right now. Look at this tremor right here. See, 17 begins right here. So let's say it starts about 1713. 
It's around 1713 right there. So let's go to the neighboring graph, the ones that showed it. Notice there's a slight bump right here, around 1712 as well. And here in Moose Creek, Idaho, definitely the same thing. You see that bump there as well, showing the same thing, showing it was not surface noise or wind or whatever they like to spin it as. And notice it right here. But the thing that's interesting here is it starts about four or five minutes later, which means it seems like something moved through the ground, literally moved through the ground, moved through the area. I don't know how that's possible, but... It looks like something literally going from one point to another point underground. Possibly a big flow of magma, who knows. But that definitely is picking up the same thing, so let's go to the earthquake site to see if it was a global earthquake that made this signal. Let's go to 1712 of the 4th. 1712, we got one in Mammoth Lakes in California. So no, we have nothing. Let's go before. Biggest one was only a 3.1, 2.8, yeah, nothing. Nothing. So they did not report this, even though it showed up on multiple graphs. All right, guys. So, so uh, this uh, activity here in South Korea, uh, someone just told me that apparently today they're doing the largest ever military drill in South Korea that they have ever done. Do you think this is related? Because it was supposed to start today. This is the day that it was supposed to start. But what type of live action? Are they doing live action drills? Live action drills is where they use live ammo, live bombs, where they're real. They're not dummy bombs or dummy bullets or whatever. They're real. Kind of like how they dropped a few bombs on the border of North Korea not too long ago as a warning. So what's this? Are they explosions or something? Because they shut down the graph. They literally shut down the graph. Either something hit this graph and it's not operating anymore. They purposely unplugged it because of this activity. All right, so this is the Lake Yellowstone's tilt meter. I believe this is north-south. I believe this is north-south and this is east-west. I used to think this was up and down, but Z would be up and down, not Y. So I'm guessing this is east and west, this is north-south. But still, look at the motion. Remember on the 28th, those tremors? Look at the motion. Look, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The ground was really, really moving during that time period. Yeah, you can see it there also. Remember on November 12th, those tremors? And November 18th as well, when there's a spike right there. And November 28th, when there's a spike as well there. They all coincide with the three periods of tremors, which is on the 12th, the 18th, and the 19th, and the 28th. You see how they coincide? All right, guys, so I do want to apologize again for not putting the Google Earth locations in the last video with the sulfur dioxide emissions. I will do that in the next couple days, I promise, but it is really busy. Got a doctor appointment tomorrow. My wife has an interview on uh, Wednesday and I got to take care of both the kids. No help at all. So it's going to be a little hectic. Mayhem. Yeah, my, uh, my son and my daughter, Claire and Eli. <clears throat> my son, Eli, he's amazing. He's six months old. And my uh, daughter, Claire, she's about two years old. So they're about a year and a half apart. They, they're pretty amazing, but they can really, really fill the house with a lot of noise. Yeah. So it's going to be a little stressful. So I will get to that. Trust me, I will get to that. And I do want to apologize again for not putting that in the video, which I should have. Now, remember, guys, I am a new YouTuber. I just started making YouTube videos, what, about a month or so ago? So cut me a little slack, please. No, but I really do thank you guys for your support. You guys have been wonderful. And, you know, I, I suggest that you guys look into this stuff yourself, really. Because this is not about YouTube. I don't give a crap about YouTube. Because there are some people out there who talk about Yellowstone or, you know, talk about Long Valley. Or they say they're concerned about this or concerned about the earthquakes. But then they really seem to only care about subscribers and YouTube. Personally, I don't give a crap about YouTube. The reason why I created this YouTube channel with all these videos is to give out the data that I am seeing. Because I want to spread the word. If something is really happening and something really is approaching, I would like to spread the word. And I really do truly care about stuff that is going on at Yellowstone and the surrounding areas. I really do care. Because it's hard to tell on YouTube, you know, and other places, people who really care. Hell, <clears throat> the University of Utah doesn't even give a crap, it seems. Neither does the USGS. But I do really want to thank you guys for your support. But I do have to say, though, um, I'm going to be putting out some videos in the next month or two about Jesus Christ. Because if you guys don't know, I am, I am saved. I believe in Jesus Christ as my Savior, that he died 2,000 years ago, went to hell for three days, and rose again by the power of God the Father. And I do believe that. And I would like to be spreading the word about that as well. Because in comparison, even though bad stuff may be approaching, 
the sa the salvation that comes through Jesus Christ is the most important. It is. Trust me, because if some of this goes off, you're going to need Jesus. Trust me. And there are going to be there's going to be some really big, well, how should I call it, deceits coming in the future that will even make the most hardcore Christians question their faith. And trust me, a big test of our faith is approaching. It is coming. And, you know, I love you guys so much, and God bless, and I'll see you next time.